just picked up this little uh, 17 cubic foot little garden trailer and uh, I think it'd be perfect for towing behind one of the little garden tractors I have each side can fold down and it's got a little dump action that needs I don't know if it needs new tires or if it just needs air and I gotta get back on the rim but um I don't know, just thought I'd make a video of me buying this thing. I got it pretty cheap off Facebook. Um, but a lot of the hinges look good. That tire's pretty worn out. But, I don't know. If it'll hold air, it'll, it'll work for me for a while. And then I'm gonna, yeah, pull it behind one of the garden tractors and use it to clean up the driveway. Got a lot of brush up and down the driveway from when we cut the driveway in that we've really been needing to clean up. So I'm gonna use that trailer to just start grabbing some of this and hauling it in and then we'll burn it. And that's a little stray dog that wandered up on us the other day. Come here. Been calling her Pam. Come here, Pam. Come on. She's got a little limp, but she's going to the vet tomorrow, and we're going to get that taken care of. Yeah, you're the sweetest little thing. <clears throat> Perfect. Just pulled the trailer over here. Uh, let's see if we can't pop these tires back onto the rim. Oh, let's see if we can pull this off. tire is not holding there might try to go pick up like some some stuff you like spray into the tire and that seals up everything from the inside this one is not leaking near as bad but I did see some bubbles coming out of the valve stem uh, so we'll see we'll just run it as is for a bit but if they really get flat then I'll probably just have to end up replacing them Okay, so I was getting ready to head to the hardware store and uh, buy some tire sealant and maybe even a new tire. But then I had the idea to just foam it because these tires might be trash anyways. And I know people do that sometimes, so let's see if we can't just spray foam this thing. There we go. Got that stinking valve stem out. I've got this tube of block tight spray foam through this thing already has some holes in it but I'm gonna just take a knife and puncture a little air hole I'm really trying to fit in as much as I possibly can I'm gonna shove that valve stem back in there to try to block as much from coming out and then hopefully this will expand a bit, plug up any seals, and then turn rock hard and we'll have a tire that can't go flat anymore. Now I guess we'll just check back tomorrow. I think it needs about eight hours to set.
All right, this little tractor runs in the trailer hauls. Uh, that front tire, I've already tried to air it up and it's not holding air, so I'm gonna try to foam that one. I'm gonna also foam this tire because that's not holding air at all anymore. This guy, I did foam and the foam hardened in some spots, but it didn't expand all the way. So I'll probably just replace that one. I might try to foam it again. But so let's see if uh, let's see if this trailer can dump now. Take the back off. Battery is no good. I know that other tire <clears throat> wasn't perfect with the foam, but since that one has lost air already, I'm gonna try to foam that tire. And then I'm gonna, I got some tire slime right here. And I'm gonna try to tire slime this tire and then just air that one back up. And then we'll see which one works better. And I don't know. Whichever one works better, we'll do that to the other one. But uh, yeah, foam the back trailer tire, slime this one, and air it up. And I'm going to try a couple different things to this one when I air it, or when I foam it. And uh, hopefully that works better this time, but we'll see what's up. still poke some relief holes. Oh, let's actually start. <clears throat> On the opposite side of the stem. I don't think that's gonna work. Hopefully that hardens up so I can at least use it for the time being. Just getting around the property. Okay. This stuff says position the valve in the upper half. Valve is in the upper half. Hey there, Pam. I'm trying to find her home, aren't we? And she's just the sweetest little girl. I don't know why the hole is so tiny on this, but I'm going to open it up. There we go. I don't know how 
how much this is supposed to take. But I'm gonna give it a lot because I think this tire is pretty old and bad. All right. That ought to do it. Put this valve stem back up in there. Then we just gotta spin that tire around a few times. So either drive it around or jack it up and spin that tire and then we can add some air and that should seal any cracks. Just push that back and forth a good few times. Hopefully that should uh, seal that tire up. We'll see tomorrow and we'll compare to this tire. I filled up at three different spots and one in the side <clears throat> right beneath the valve. Of course the valve then just broke off. I think I'm gonna have to replace them but you know it was worth a shot to see. What are y'all doing? I didn't film it, but I felt this one, and this tire was actually flat too, so I slammed that one. Covered in soap now, no bubbles. That slime is pretty awesome. Probably should have used that for those trailer tires. Okay, out here the next day. These tires seem to be holding air well. That one can maybe use a little more than this one. The foam actually expanded and started coming out of the relief holes I had cut. And one there, so that's pretty cool. And it feels pretty rock solid everywhere on it. So uh, I think that worked on this one. I don't know why this one didn't work as well. Maybe I didn't cut enough holes, but this one came out how I wanted. So that's a tire that should hopefully never go flat. Well, right away. Look at that. Oh, it's just falling apart. This is the grease fitting from the other side. It just stripped right out. All right, please don't do that to me again. Right out the top. Oh, and some at the bottom. Okay, no way that happened again. Oh, that's gonna be fun to remove. All right, well, I just broke the tip of my grease gun. Had some kind of little plastic bit in there, I guess, and uh, got smashed out of there when I was pulling out these two grease points that broke off of the tractor. What are you guys doing? Pam, what do you think you're doing?
heard the tractor sounding like it was running out of gas. So I decided to drive it up here, try to get it back toward the camper, um, and get it out of the driveway, because we got to go somewhere in a little bit. And it ended up sounding even worse as I got it over here, so I pulled it off to the side. And we still have fuel. Pretty murky in there. And it's gonna rain tonight, so this sucks, but I'll go grab a tarp. Leave this here for now. A little bummer. Alright, I think it's two days later now. Uh, we got a bunch of rain the past few days. But, and this thing has just been sitting out here since then. And I got some, got some new gas. Uh, that's for the old gas, and uh, I also grabbed a new inline fuel filter, some grease fittings, and new grease nozzle for the grease gun. So we can get this thing back in order. Uh, this thing traps some water in the top of its mufflers. I want to get that out, prevent rust. This side too. Alright, so what I think I'm going to try to do is just, since this gas tank is so bolted in here, built into the tractor, I'm going to try to just disconnect the fuel line where I can reach it. And it actually gets pretty tucked up in through the body, so the only place I can really get to it is kind of right here at the shutoff. <clears throat> so, uh... Yeah, I'm just going to disconnect one of these, pull it down low, and then try to drain that into the gas can. Whew! Finally! draining into the gas can. Beautiful new day. Sun is shining. Pushed the tractor up closer from the driveway so the dogs could hang around because I don't like them going that far up the driveway. We got Pam here who is officially not a stray anymore. She's sponsored by the SPCA and going to get a home soon. And she's doing real well. Getting healthy. And we got this tractor here that is still not running, but we've got an empty gas tank we're going to try to clean out. And got the fuel line still disconnected. We're going to put a new fuel filter in there. And then uh, we're going to take that carburetor off and clean that out. It might be hard for you to see right now with the sun, but I'm just going to snip off a little bit of this fuel line where I had to splice it to get it off. Yep, that's good. And now I'm going to fish it back up through here so we can hook it back into the shutoff valve. I think I got it. Yeah. This filter really doesn't look bad, but I might as well change it. Get those lines up there as high as you can. Alright, new fuel filter installed.
air filter looks really good. It looks pretty fresh. Hose right there. All right, parts tray, super handy. So the bolt doesn't look too nasty. That's good. Honestly looks pretty clean other than this jet right here. Just pulled that little like, almost looks like a rat poop out of the carburetor. Pam, get off the solar panels. Okay, so here's just a look inside the bowl. There is a little debris down there I'm gonna wipe up. Uh, and then I'm gonna just blast every little hole and port I can with the carb cleaner. And that usually blasts everything clean. All right, now look. I'm gonna spray the carb cleaner into this jet and you'll see it come out of the, the fuel ports. And it looks like it's flowing through really well, so that's a good sign. I did the same to the top half. Uh, I don't think it needs to be taken apart, which there's nothing to really take apart. You just take the pin out, float off. Nothing crazy. So let's slide this back in there. Make sure we put this on first, because that's important. It's our choke. Uh, now let's figure out a way to clean out this fuel tank. So you know what, before we even do that, I got a new grease tip for my grease gun. And we have one more grease point right there. This one came out too. Beautiful. We got Pam over here ripping on my paper towel. That's okay, baby girl. I've been trying to get these grease fittings out and I got the one out of here just using a reverse threaded extractor tool. Um, and I'm trying to like cut new threads in, but I can't because all these taps are pointed and it just hits the, I don't know what you call that, the big piece of metal going through the center. I can't thread in there deep enough. So I'm gonna take a Dremel and cut the tip of this off. It's gonna work. Uh, I already did this once, but I'm gonna run this in again just so you can see. size it should just thread right in there oh yeah it's taking grease and it breaks off so after using a couple of the wrong taps not knowing my threads and all the measurements right, making a couple silly mistakes, I ended up using a six millimeter tap 
There we go. Grease came out the bottom just there. Let's see if I can show you. Oh, yeah. Now the moment of truth is, will it break off in the grease gun? Oh, yes. Stayed where it's supposed to. We got one side fixed. Okay, I'm not sure it recorded. But... I tapped this out and went to a six millimeter because that's the fitting size I had. Put the fitting in there, threaded in nice, greased up fine, and then it snapped right off. Put a new one in, snapped right off again. And uh, this is now the third time, except I went up to a quarter inch because I thought maybe if it had a little more meat, it would do okay. I don't know why these keep breaking. I don't know if it's the brand of fitting I got or what, but... Uh, Okay, that is a quarter inch grease fitting now. That accepts grease. Now, can we pop it off? Yes! I don't know why that was so hard, and it would have been easy to just put one in and leave it and worry about it the next time I need to grease it, but I wanted that done right. I was just underneath here, trying to get the one that broke off under there. Uh, but I can't, I've got no access to actually tap a new thread. And I put a lot of grease in there before it broke, so we're good there. And I actually just found one other one under here. I don't know if you can see it, but I just got under there, greased that. So I think this thing is as greased as it's gonna be. As far as that one in the middle, I don't know, I'll deal with that at a later date. Performance tool grease fittings. That's what I'm using, and uh, I do not recommend them. Okay, now with the tractor over here by the generator, I'll get the air compressor out. Uh, fire up the generator. Um, I'm trying to blast some of this nonsense out of here. I know you can't see down there. That's my girlfriend's father, soon to be father-in-law, who loves working on this stuff. He just came over to drink a beer and naturally we got to work on this. I thought I was going to just blast some rags around in there, but now I think we're going to actually try to pull the tank out and clean it better. Girlfriend's dad is gone. Oh, but that was good help. Got the tank off and we just let that soak for a good while uh, with some vinegar and stuff while we drink. So now I'm going to shove a couple rags in here and then blast it around, get up any leftover debris and vinegar and all that good stuff. Alright, feeling pretty confident now that uh, this is a good clean tank again, so I'm going to get everything reconnected and reinstalled. Ooh. Glad I thought ahead a bit and tied this string to the into the gas line so it's easier to just pull back through now.
non-ethanol only. I think in all my other vids I've been saying unleaded, but I've been meaning non-ethanol. I think we'll just have to jump that battery pack again, but I think it's time to try to fire it up again. Now this battery is dead, so I gotta go charge it. Well, here's that wood pile, uh, the first load I got with the tractor while it was still working. And while I'm waiting for that battery to charge up, uh, I figured I would just clean it up. I filmed myself splitting it, but I guess I didn't record, so I guess I didn't film it. But, uh, yeah, maybe this will be cool in the time lapse. Okay, this thing is fully charged now. something so I gotta figure out why this isn't getting fuel now okay I've got the air filter off the carburetor um, and I'm not gonna take the top off I don't think because we already went in there so I'm gonna try going in this front side that's where the fuel comes in And this diaphragm fell out, and that could be our issue, because once these stretch, they always start failing. If I put this together and this doesn't work again, then I'm going to assume that's it. And order a rebuild kit, which I probably should have already done. Here's another diaphragm. I don't know if that's stretched or not, but... There's a little bit of debris there. So I went ahead and actually <clears throat> took the top off too. Took it all the way apart. Uh, just wanted to make sure I was clearing all the jets out. Um, getting everything clean as I can. Because the carburetor is higher up than the, uh, than the gas tank, it can't just gravity fill. So I'm going to just see if I can help it out. Beer can full of gas to the rescue. Okay, that took me a second. I got a little mixed up, but I got it all back together. And there's our fuel line. That ought to do it. I'm going to grab the battery and let's cross our fingers. <laughs> nope. That was just running off of what I poured into the bowl. Not a... Uh, not fresh fuel. About a week later, got the carburetor rebuild kit. Uh, let's go swap out some parts and see if we can't get this thing running again.
fuel lines back on, fuel line open, fuel in the tank. I'll go ahead and put some gas in the bowl and see if we can't get this thing to finally pull gas in. Same old trusty beer can. Alright, that wasn't much, but maybe it'll be enough. Okay, let me go grab the battery and cross those fingers. Feels good. Awesome. Well, uh, I'm gonna throw this back together and then let's go finally rescue that trailer from the driveway. Okay, well, I think that's going to conclude this video. It's starting to get a little long, and it was just originally going to be a little video of me using this trailer, and it turned into all this on the tractor. Um, but at least this is in good working order again, and this thing's doing a little better. Uh, it needs some tweaks uh, that I'll make. I've got to reinforce it a bit, but I'm pretty happy with it and happy with this guy, and uh, yeah, on to the next thing.